mean, he's done everything but put out an album. When, <laughs> yeah, when's right. when's the Tom Brady album coming where he, <laughs> you know, like Terry Bradshaw or Deion Sanders, coming this he decides holiday I'm going to become Mike. a musical artist. <laughs> yeah, Thank funny. God he can't sing. Because let me tell you, if he could sing, the son of a bitch would do it. I'm telling you. If he could sing, he would do it. And I mean that in a loving and respectful way. But he would do it. He would do it if he could sing. Yeah, it's almost he like he was shoved in the closet for 18 years and had all these emotions and thoughts and like just damn I've been locking away my personality because he does have a great personality he does it, it's I'm, it's great that everybody is getting to see that that's one thing I've known about Tom Brady for a long time he's amazing charisma of course amazing people skills he's funny he's humble uh so all of that I respect yeah the, there's some insecurity sure but he doesn't you know, we, we, we can dance down that lane every now and then, whatever. But either way, yes, uh, I feel like it's like it's almost a makeup from being locked away in, in Belichickville for so long. And now he's like, oh, my gosh, this is great to open my mouth and be me and not have to worry. And he needs somebody to rein him in a little bit. That's our point. I think it's, so. It, right. it's, he's running the risk of Tom Brady overload. I, I would agree. Um, yeah, I would agree. But, 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 but. But he, I mean, here yeah, we are. but he's still killing a, it, and we're talking on, right? a, on a mid to late May morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. And look, I, I, I knew the moment that they came back and beat the Falcons in Super Bowl Fifty One, that that was when he entered another the level. Yeah. That's when he became greatest quarterback of all time, maybe greatest NFL player of all time, and that was where and it was five freaking years ago. I started saying then he's now in that Michael Jordan phase where you better go see him play while you can. Yeah. He's anywhere near you driving distance, short flight, wherever, get a ticket and go see him play. And that's, that's where he's been. And so look, I, I wanted to keep playing. I appreciate it. I think he can play beyond 45. I can think he yeah. we've talked about it. He's, he can play. He can play until he could play until he's 50. If he wanted to, his arm people will be think there. He's going to people think he's going to Fox next year. That that deal isn't going anywhere, and oh. I suspect Look at that these they. Throws. They're, they're I rifles. suspect that 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 contract is written in a way that gives him full flexibility to decide when the ten-year period starts, and and there, there's he he can he he can play as long as he wants. He's not going to put any limit on how long he can play, or some artificial limit in a in a Fox contract. And I want him to keep playing. I've said before I want Aaron Rodgers to play until he's 60. I'll take Tom Brady until he's 60. I'll settle for 50. I mean, the, the, these are some of the great quarterbacks of all time who are still getting it done. Yeah. And, you know, we set aside all the other stuff. We can appreciate the fact that there's a brilliance there. Definitely. That competitive drive. Definitely. The FUTV stuff, all right. the stuff that gets him motivated. It's hard to keep doing it year in and year out. I remember when, you know, when he retired um, – and and just the way that it all worked. And, yeah. I mean, he it's no one's ever done this before. No. No one's ever played at this level so deep into their life that they know what to do. And how do you balance family when your family is maturing before your eyes and your career is still going? Like for most professional athletes, yeah. you hit the natural ending point. You never have to get into these issues. And he's yeah. found a way to he's found a way. He's found a balance. He's found a balance. All it took was being home for four or five weeks and <laughs> yeah. his wife's saying, can you, you get out of here? Out of yeah. Here? Yeah. You're out of balance. Find something to do. I, um, yeah. so it's, I think it's great. I think it's great. And it's, it's inspirational to say, look, I mean, we can be critical that he, but, it, but it, it's a fair, we're and not I being joke, critical. We were just bringing up a point. I think, I, I think just, that there's, yeah. I think that he needs somebody to tell him line. you can, you can be overexposed Yes, and you can start alienating people just because, Oh God! Here he is. Oh yeah, Will I this know. guy ever yeah. like just? I've had enough. I, I I've had enough. I think there is yes, right. There's. I think there is. I mean, again, you just look at anything on social media or sometimes an article you write about him, and you can see, you know, if you see a hundred comments, you see twenty, twenty-five that are like that for sure. Um, but it it is interesting, and you're right. I mean, listen, I'm a guy that sat that sat here and over the last year have changed, uh, and and do believe Brady Brady is the goat. I do. I mean, it, it, it's because... The goat of what, though? Quarterbacks, NFL players, or no. all athletes? No, well, this is where I want to get into because this is where I think it's an interesting conversation. Go to quarterbacks, sure, yes. No doubt about it. And But where it's different to me, and I think the hard time, or I had a hard time coming around to it, I mean, we know he's got, you know, you know all the hardware and the most more pelts on the horse than anybody, for sure. 
All right, so that's awesome. But unlike Muhammad Ali or Babe Ruth or Michael Jordan, all the, the guys that are up there with him, they were the physically best at their sport, right? There was a time where you went, nobody is physically better. Muhammad Ali's hands are so damn quick and his feet are so quick and he had a good chin that he was the best in the sport. There was nobody that doubted not only did he have the brains and you know the toughness, but the physical ability. Jordan, at his best, absolutely the physically best player we've ever seen in the history of the NBA. And then Babe Ruth was hitting more home runs than the rest of the league combined. So that just tells you. The, where the, the Brady thing is different is kind of what you were saying. It's this consistent top three, top five quarterback in football for 22 years. And the last few years in Tampa, especially, you know, aggressive throws, winning games, going for it, not worried about I threw three interceptions in the NFC Championship game and then crawl into a hole, make a crawl, crawl into a hole, make a big throw, you know, in the fourth quarter into a tight window to put the game away. To me, you know, that's where Rodgers misses a little bit. But I also with Brady, and I'm sorry to talk here, but just like his his absolute best to me is still not. The, as good as the absolute best, a Manning, an Aaron Rodgers, or a John Elway had. And that's where it's a little different. And I, I'm just talking here because we're sports guys. No, you're and, right. You know, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the Emmett Smith dynamic. A little bit. You're right. That's a good one to use. Right. You know, right. Emmett Smith was never the jaw dropping, oh crap. Barry Sanders. Yes. Right. Walter there wasn't Payton in the one, prime. The, AP. Right. 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 But he just kept going yeah. and going and going through any and all adversity, any and all injury. He kept going until he was the king of the mountain. And was there ever a time where Emmett Smith just jumps off your TV screen as having legendary skills? No, but he did it better, longer than anyone else. Yes. And that I think that's what... and. And Emmett had three. Tom Brady's got seven. Yeah, that that's you bring all that together. The longevity, right? The championship pedigree, right? And the fact that he's forty, he's gonna be forty-five in a couple of months. Yeah, and it's just so funny that he retired. Now we know. Boy, I think as we get farther removed from the retirement, I'd like to think that people with common sense and logic and an ability to be remotely objective, we're going to understand that it wasn't retirement. Yeah. It was an effort to get away from the Buccaneers. And I know that this really pisses off Buccaneers fans and in turn Dolphins fans because they're all in with Tua. But that's what it was. He wanted to go to a different team. Yes. And if he just hadn't signed the extension in 21, he would have been a free agent and he could have gone to another team. But he was in. They had him in. They had him in a box. Credit to the Buccaneers. They they had him in a box, and they weren't letting him out. No. And I, I I thought they would. I thought they would, but they weren't letting that asset go because they knew if this guy plays, if we can if we can push his buttons the right way and get him to play, we got a full stadium this year. When otherwise it's going to be crickets for Blaine Gabbert and Kyle Trask or whoever else <laughs> they would have brought in. I just wonder if they would have let him go with the Miami thing. You know, again. I'm still one that thinks there was even maybe a wiggling to go to Fort San Francisco, as we've talked about before. Uh, I, uh, you know, we discussed that. I, I still think it's odd that, you know, the 49ers and Shanahan wasn't at the combine and just happened to be that Tom Brady was down the road at that time. So and they hire his, his uh, former teammate, Brian Greasy, to be the quarterback. Exactly. Coach, so I could see. Same week. I could see, like, Tampa not being cool with that. Like, we're, you're not going to the 49ers. We're going to have to play in the NFC Championship game. That ain't happening. So I do wonder, though, if the Brian Flores thing happened and all of that, if they would have let it go, as I discussed before. And, I, I, and maybe I've misspoke a little bit here with this, you know, but, but I, there was talks of this. It was way down the road, as you talked about. And it was my understanding that they needed an answer because they wanted to get into the maybe into the quarterback market if they knew he wasn't going to play. And uh, that's what made the decision happen maybe a oh. little bit more, you know, hastily after that. What happened was when he retires, the Miami thing is happening. It's happening. Yes. Right. So wh whatever was going to go down, they'd already crossed that bridge. I know you've heard second round pick. I know that it was going to be a first round pick in 2023 for Sean Payton. It was happening. And 
then it doesn't happen because of Brian Flores. That's when Tom Brady has to go back and reevaluate and figure out what he's going to do. Right. And that may be when it became obvious to him, okay, I'm not going to find an easy path to another team. The Buccaneers, he didn't want to see. I thought, I thought it was to his benefit to let the Buccaneers move on. If the Buccaneers had traded for Deshaun Watson or Baker Mayfield and they have a big financial commitment to some other guy, then if you're Tom Brady and you say, oh, okay, I'm coming back, they're going to say, oh, God, no, we've moved on, like the Packers did with Aaron Rodgers after Brett Favre left. So I thought he'd play that out, but I didn't but, think he wanted to take that risk. Yes. I didn't think he wanted to take that risk. Yeah, I think that's right. It, well, because he knows that, the, damn, the Bucs are that's still one of the handful of teams that they got the talent to go to the Super Bowl here. I can't just let that go. You know, and, and, and one of the things I will say where I want to correct myself for Jason Light or anybody out there in Tampa Bay, um, because I know I got some pushback from Rick Stroud, the great writer in Tampa, where I had kind of brought up at one point the name Deshaun Watson, right? And I was kind of just using it as an example to say they were getting in the quarterback market. And that's not – I didn't have any knowledge or no, knew anything about Deshaun Watson in Tampa, and I want to make that clear. And I don't think – from what I know, Tampa did not try to pursue him, all right, at all. So I'd like to clear that up for sure. But either way – You're not the only one that said it, though. I know, I know. There. But I don't want to – I names. like the Bucks. I like the Bucks. Yeah. I, I, want, I know Jason Light. I, want, I don't want them to think I'm trying to, you know, throw shade out there or, or make them look bad or anything like that. Uh, so I, I did want to correct that part. I think the other factor, too, Tom knew I better come back before they put the schedule together. Mm. Yeah. Or I'm not, I'm not, my brand is going to suffer. I'm not going to be in prime time five times if I wait too long. And they admitted the schedule makers did. They went back and started over again yeah. once Tom Brady and retired. They're trying to maximize their assets. And, right. and that's why, Chris, to bring it back to would the Buccaneers have let him go to Miami? I think yes, because I think at some point, 345 Park Avenue gets involved to make sure that Tom Brady is going to Miami and playing football. We want Tom Brady on that wall. We need him on that wall. This guy wants to play in the NFL. He's our biggest attraction. One of them, if not the biggest attraction. Hell yes, Tampa Bay. And and I, always, I was saying back at the time, it's an easy argument for Tom Brady to make. Hey, I did the extension last year to help you guys under the salary right, cap. Right, right. I did a two-year contract. I've been here two years. I did a one-year extension for cap purposes. Come on. Let me go. I let's think work this out. Take I what you can would've. get and let's yes, go. Right. I, again, as, as I've been led to believe by people that are very much in the know, that, the, 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 yes, a lot of that was in it's the works. happening. Yes. It, folks. Well, they're all known. Tune Everybody on, will figure it out and realize, on. you know. It was the season happening. Starts. Yes. Brian Flores' lawsuit is what kept it from happening but for that lawsuit tom brady gets announced the following week as a minority owner of the dolphins not long after that sean payton becomes the head coach and at some point after that tom brady becomes the quarterback of the miami dolphins it was happening and you can you can you can say futv or laptop or cell phone not that any of those instruments are guilty in this regard you're, you're mad at us you can be mad all you want it was happening hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports